What's up guys? I'm gonna walk you through three of my favorite movements with stick mobility for golfers. All right, so I think this is one of the best tools for mobility to get you strong and long. All right, so it's gonna get you stretched out and it's also gonna build some strength where you need it the most. So this is in no particular order, but I'm gonna start with the bow and arrow. So this is actually what caught my attention with the stick mobility. So what you're going to do is take the stick, lock your elbow into the side, and notice I'm making like a 90 degree angle with my arm, and I'm going to externally rotate out my shoulder, slightly angle the stick towards my feet, let's call that roughly six inches. Then with my opposite hand, I'm gonna take it up like I'm saying an oath. Then I'm going to pop my hip out away from the stick. Then I reach up, grab the top, and then I'm going to press with this arm. And then I kind of fold myself up, keep pushing my hip out, and then letting my top arm be taken by the stick. And that's gonna stretch everything I like to say from my pinky finger all the way down to my pinky toe. So if you have a pair of these sticks, always make sure you rotate the stick so you don't bend it the exact same way every time. And I'll show you this one again. So out to the side, angled in, pop the hip out, reach your arm up, big stretch, and push as hard as you can. Once you get here, notice I'm folding, I'm still pushing my hip. <sighs> Exhale, get a little longer stretch. <sighs> Come back in and repeat. So you would do both sides, and you know you could do like five reps, and I do these almost every single day. So say five reps on each side, do anywhere between like a three to like 10 seconds with that hold. You can really just kind of see which works best for you, okay? My next favorite one, which I said these weren't gonna be in any order, but my next one is gonna be down here on the ground. So find a wall. If you don't have a wall, you can use um, like a pair of dumbbells or anything like that, all right? So when I lay down, this is gonna be a sideline book opener. So a lot of people get really confused on this one. So I'm laying on my right side, okay? So I'm going to keep my right leg down and my right arm is going to grab the stick. I'm going to lift the stick up, bring my knee to hip height, pin it to the ground with the stick. So I'm putting the stick right here on my knee. Now my bottom leg, my right leg, it's still straight. I'm going to press that stick down with it. So it's like the side of my foot pressing it down and I'm gonna pull this down. So now I'm locking my leg in place. I'm gonna make a big rotation. If I stay quiet, you might hear my back pop a few times. Exhale at the end. Again, nice and slow, come back over. If your neck is hurting here, you can put a pillow, okay? So here we go, rotate. I wanna think about pinning my shoulder blades to the ground. I won't quite get there, and I wanna make sure I keep this knee down, and then here at the very end of the range of motion, as I'm trying to pin myself down, I'm also pressing this foot down, that right foot down really hard that's getting even more tension through these lines. You can even make a little rainbow over the top of your head, something like that. Again, I usually do around like five reps, three to 10 second hold there at the end. All right, the last one. This one's called the slap shot. You can put the stick behind your back or in front of you. I used to do it behind my back. I actually like it much more in front of me now. All right, so I'm gonna take a really wide stance, okay? I'm going to put the stick right inside of my big toe. I'm gonna reach my arm up here and I'm gonna take this hand and reach down while I subtly bend my knees and hinge my hips back and then grab. Now, I'm gonna shift all my weight over to this side, kind of like a lateral lunge and I'm going to turn my chest into the stick. I like to look down and then look up, look back down and repeat. Come here, this is a nice chest stretch. I like to just do a little one of these. It's like warrior and yoga or something. Come back down and repeat. So again, you can hold at the end and repeat. So in no particular order, those are my three favorite movements for golfers using stick mobility. I'm only like five foot seven, right? I have the six, six foot stick. If you're, I think it's like 5'10 or 5'11, if you're taller than me, 
you should look into getting a seven foot stick, but these are one of the best tools for golfers.